Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at how to take a 2D product image and manipulate it so that it appears to be 3D and fit into any space you really need it to fit into. And then we're going to be doing that in Photoshop today. So sit back, relax, and I will see you inside. All right guys, so if you're watching this tutorial, you're probably in a situation where you maybe know a little bit about Photoshop and you're able to bring in these product images from all over the internet and bring them into Photoshop and place them, but you might be running into the problem that you can't really place them in three-dimensional space, right? In whatever space you're you're designing. So today we're going to be looking at how to actually take that 2D image and re uh, basically give it a new perspective so that it sits in a 3D space and looks realistic. All right. So before you get started today, make sure to download the download files or project files that are located up or below this video. One of the two. Um, all right. That's it. So go ahead and download those and I'll see you inside. All right, guys, time to open up your project files and let's get started. Remember, your file isn't going to look exactly like the one we're using here. We cleaned it up a lot to make sure you don't have any confusion moving forward. So have fun and let's get started. All right, guys, so let's get started. First thing we need to do here is hit M on the keyboard and that'll pull up the marquee tool. And then what we want to do is start segmenting out this media stand, AKA we're going to cut it into some pieces that we can put into perspective. So I'm going to go grab the front face. Hit Command J, and I'm going to put that front face into perspective. And uh, so first, I'm going to drag it over here to where I think it. I'm looking at the left edge, and I'm trying to put that approximately where I want this table to end up, which I think, um, with a little bit of depth, I think it should be about this far into the room. <clears throat> and then I'm going to squeeze it down. So command T and then just scale it down. And now I'm looking at how far I want the back edge to go. And so this top edge, it looks approximately about where I want the back to end up. So then I'm going to right click, go to perspective, drag that up and then squeeze it down. Make sure it's aligned with the perspective lines. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. I think it might be a little bit tall, so I'm going to scale it down. And you can see how it stayed in the correct perspective. Great. So I think uh, maybe a little bit too deep. Let's bring it forward a little and hit enter. All right, so let's look and see how that looks compared to our original. I think it's looking pretty cool. Um, so let's now imagine what's going on on the left side. Now, we, there might be a case where you can find a better product image to work with or at least figure out what the side looks like. But in this case, let's just make one up. All right, so I'm going to just guess that uh, half the side of this is plastic and white and the other half is wooden so on my current piece here I'm going to make a small selection of the white area I'm going to hit command J and then I'm going to drag that over I'm going to hit command T and just stretch it out all right now I want to make sure that this is lateral and that it is meeting up with my bottom edge. So I'm just going to make sure that that's happening. It's nice and straight. Meeting up with the edges. And if it does extend a little bit, I can hit M and drag it. Delete. And that one looks okay. Great. So that's our half white side of the panel. Now we're, let's make up a, uh, a wooden section here. So I'm just going to grab from the original 
and hit Command J, and that's going to give us this little texture there. And move that into place. And actually, let's just flip this upside down. Drag it down, pull it up, send it back just a touch. And um, at this point, we just kind of have to guess on how deep this this goes. But I think that looks approximately correct. I want to make sure that these bottoms lined up. Cool, so that's our side and our front. Now I just want to get this top section in there. And uh, again, I think we'll just source from the original. Grab that top, hit Command J, and that's going to separate onto its own layer. I'm going to hit V, uh, and then I'm going to line this left edge up here. All right, so this is going to take a little bit of squashing and stretching. Let's hit Command T. This time I'm going to put my anchor point right on the corner, so I'm going to hold Alt. Command T again, and then just send it up vertical. If I hold Shift, it'll lock into place. Squeeze that down. Let's stretch it out wide. And uh, you can see that my top and bottom edges aren't exactly lateral, and I want them to be. So I'm going to do a little perspective shift on this. So that's approximately right. Cool. Now I'm just going to hit Command T again. Squeeze this down. Now what I'm trying to do here is make sure the uh, top edge here is lined up along the the back edge, approximately. So there we go. And then I'm going to do perspective again. Squeeze it down. And I was way off on my estimate, so I'm going to hit Command T. Send that back. And there we go. Now the only thing mix missing at this point are the legs. And it does look like our top piece is a little bit off. So cool, so now we can just grab all these pieces, Command G, let me group them together, or what I like to do is just merge it when I'm happy. Um, and we can just make some minor adjustments to where that is in the room. Do note that your perspective may change slightly if you do something like that. So let's turn off our extras. I'm gonna straighten out my bottom again. And let's add some feet here. So we look at the original. It had these little legs down there. We can try to mimic that. By just uh, grabbing, sourcing from the original, hit Command J. Bring that down. And I'm just going to stretch it out. Okay, duplicate that, send this one back here, scale it down, scale it down a little bit more. And just kind of line it up by eye, see what looks good. Great. So <clears throat> I think uh, I think we're I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Now it does look like the top edge is a little bit off of perspective. Uh, we could get in there and really refine it by making a new line, and uh, you know figuring out how far off it really was. It looks like it's a good chunk there. However, I feel like uh, <clears throat> we're going to end up covering that section up with a TV, so I'm not too worried about that at this point. So let's just turn off our extras, turn off this original, and again, let's uh, merge our layers.
Let's get rid of that original one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully at this point, you kind of know how to go from anywhere online, grab some 2D images, bring them into Photoshop and reposition them to kind of look more realistic for your client, giving them that, that little extra expertise in your business. If you want to learn more or if you're kind of struggling with the basics or even the advanced stuff, if you want to go a little bit further, check out our Photoshop launch course. It's free and it'll get you up and running specifically for interior design. And from there, you can go on to some of our more experienced courses as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me for another exciting lesson here in Photoshop, and I'll see you next time.